Hi there and welcome to today's Quentin Carpenter Nature of Flowers Photoshop tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make one of these Antonio Mora style double exposure portraits. You can see here there's a picture of my chin and a picture of the vaulting in Battle Abbey. Now you can see how I've blended them together to create this sort of seamless effect where it looks like my nose is going up into the pillar and the glasses are here. I'll show you some of Antonio Mora's work to give you an example of what I'm doing. And I'll talk you through how to make it step by step. So Antonio Moore is really famous for the way he blends his imagery together. You can see he likes to use half a face and half a landscape to do these amazing effects. He's a very successful and very popular artist. So you can see the sort of thing I was looking for here, where you've got like the architecture and the face blending together seamlessly. Okay, so I'll talk you through how to do that. And, um, the first thing we need to do is obviously have a photograph of a face. So here's a portrait of myself I took earlier. And you'll need a piece to blend into it. So we will go File, Place Embedded. We will find our vaulting and we will place it on top like so. Once we've done that, we can then reposition it using the Move tool to work out exactly where it's going to go. We will need to resize it because it's obviously a little bit of the wrong size. And I want to get it to line up so that the eyes and the ears and the nose all fit together with the image like so. Like that. Now, that's roughly where I want to make it go. So before I do that, I'm going to unlock the background and stretch that down and play around with the two images till I get them exactly where I want them. So a bit more like that. Now you'll notice on my example here that it's black and white. So we will do that first of all. So we'll go to our first image, make sure it's rasterized. Go okay, image adjustments and black and white. And then we'll go on the background layer and make that black and white as well. Image adjustments, black and white and then you will see that they will fit together more seamlessly. Once we've got our arrangement roughly where we want, we will need to add a mask to the top layer. We will use our black and a soft edge brush to blend out a small amount of the image so that there is not a harsh line in between the two pictures. So once we blend it around like this, it will create the effect that we are looking for, like so. That is basically what you need to do. If you've done too much blending and you're not happy with it, you swatch over to white on the layer mask and you can bring bits of the building back in again so you get it exactly where you want it. And then you can switch to black and blend bits out again. Now, I always find it really nice if you adjust the levels to make the images a bit stronger. So we go image, adjustment and levels, bring the black in, so you've got a nice darker tones and bring the white in slightly and then experiment in the middle to get it how you want it to look. And we'll do the same with the background. So image adjustments and we want to look at levels, bring the blacks over a bit more and bring the white in to get it to really blend. Once you've done that, I need to crop the image because I'm not very happy about this little piece that got stuck in the background. So I will crop it using the crop tool and it works for me better if I bring it over for a nice tight crop on either side. And I'm going to bring it up a bit to get more of the height of the vaulting, like so. And you can see there's still a little bit here that I'm not very happy with. So if I use the lasso tool, quickly draw around that little bit that I'm not happy with, I can then right click, fill, content to where, OK, and it should remove it for me, and then Control D to get with the flashing line. And there is my Antonio Mora style response. OK, I hope you've enjoyed watching this tutorial. If you have, be sure to go over to the channel, hit that subscribe button, give it a thumbs up. And I'd love to see your comments below for any ideas for future videos. You can see there are many um, other tutorials on my channel. 
let me know what you'd like to see and I'll arrange to sort one of those out for you. Okay, thanks for watching and have a really good day. Okay, bye now.